We're going to start, though, with what's by far the top story on ClickOnDetroit.com this afternoon. We're talking about Green Day being rushed off stage during last night's concert at Comerica Park. Detroit police say someone was flying a drone over the park and the band was removed from the stage because of security concerns. Now here at Local 4, we have our own drone, drone operators and there are very specific rules they must follow to be able to fly. Victor Williams is live with photojournalist Jeff Jewell outside of Comerica Park this afternoon to kind of walk us through how all this works. Hey, Victor. Hey there, Nick Monticelli. So this whole thing had a lot of people scratching their heads. I mean, the band was performing the song Longview when all of a sudden they all dropped their instruments and then rushed off stage. And just like you said, it was all because of a drone that was up there in the sky. Now, standing right next to me is someone who knows a little bit of something about a drone or two, I should say. This right here is Jeff Jewell, and he is our drone operator. He's got those aviators on, so I should actually call him a drone pilot. But you can tell us that, I mean, something like this happening isn't really out of the, you know, out of the unusual. Because really, when it comes down to flying over a stadium, that's kind of a no-no. It is, yeah. The FAA specifically says that in a stadium uh, with a capacity of 30,000 or more people, you cannot fly a drone over that stadium up to an hour before the event and up to an hour after the event. Um, so it's just simply, like, not, not allowed at all under any circumstance. That's right, and then flying over people overall is kind of a gray area. It is. They're, they're a little bit more, it's a little bit more fluid. Um, you can obtain a special waiver from the FAA, um, but the event has to be within an enclosed space, and everyone in that space has to be made aware that a drone is going to be flying over them. Uh, also, you cannot hover over people. Generally, the drone has to continue be in continual motion. Uh, so there's a lot of little kind of ins and outs of this, but kind of the bottom line rule is if, you, if you're confused at all or you know have any questions, bottom line is just don't do it. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much, Jeff Jewell. We were actually able to speak to Steve Dolan. He is actually a retired assistant police chief with the Detroit Police Department. Here's what he had to say about the entire situation. With all the drones um, that they're using overseas, people are scared. You don't know what's in that drone. And though that individual may have thought, eh, what could possibly happen? You, in charge of the security of the venue, have to worry, like, why is your drone up there? Because the law says you have to be in sight of that drone. So the chance of the person was outside the stadium. And even though the concert goers didn't realize it, I'm glad they stopped the concert because it shows there's an emphasis on security, especially what's going on in the country right now. And once again, that was Steve Dolan, who was the retired police chief or assistant police chief, I should say, with the Detroit Police Department. Coming up at about 5 o'clock, we're going to be talking directly to some of the people that were at the concert. We're going to hear what they had to say about the confusion that they all experienced while Green Day was off the stage for about seven minutes. For now, we are live at Comerica Park, Victor Williams. Local four. Victor, thank you. I think it's worth pointing out too that I think the majority of the people at the concert yesterday didn't know what was going on. They just saw the signs that said show pause with no explanation as to what was happening. Yeah, that's right. And then we're also told that the band didn't really acknowledge what happened themselves, so that really left a lot of people in confusion, uh, you know, even more. So thankfully, we're all able to calm down a little bit now that we know exactly what happened, but still, it's a very major safety concern. It certainly is. Okay, Victor, thank you very much. And I imagine DPD will be investigating as well.